Maywood Pice. This is a stake race for Illinois, conceived and fold, three-year-olds. Number nine, Go Sox, has been scratched, and here they are. Number one, Guruvi and Tony Morgan. Number two is Peace Talks and Ronnie Marsh. Number three, St. Elbow Eagle and Marshall Duncan. Number four is Arbreiter and Dave McGee. Number five, Random Arbest, Jimmy Curran. Six is Lake Hills, Texas, Dale Heitman. Number seven, Pirate Dan, Tommy Harmer. Number eight, Hopper Wellwood, Walt Paisley, nine, has been scratched. That's the field for the $115,000 Maywood Pace. There's eight minutes to post. Time of the turn. Here they come. Errol Penn pacing on the outside. Lake Hills, Texas out very sharply for the lead. But there goes Garuvi into the turn. They race and Garuvi benefits from the inside. Peace Talks slips into second on the outside. Lake Hills, Texas now in second. It's Peace Talks in third. Followed by St. Elmo Eagle. Here comes Pirate Dan. Followed on the outside. Hopper Wellwood. It's Arborator trailing to the quarter. It's Random Arbus. And your leader from the outside, Lake Hills, Texas. They're by the quarter. 28 and 4, Lake Hills, Texas. Has the lead to Lance Caruvi. He's right there in second. Pirate Dan takes over second on the outside. It's Caruvi back to third. Followed by Hopper Wellwood. It's Pace Talks. It's Arborator. Followed by Random Arbest and St. Elmo Eagle. Approaching the half mile marker, it's Lake Hills, Texas with the lead. On the outside, Pirate Dan moves at him in second. Garuvi and Hopper Wellwood. 59 seconds flat. Now they drive into the clubhouse turn. It's Lake Hills, Texas with the lead. Garuvi is now back to second. On the outside, it's Pirate Dan in third. Followed by Hopper Wellwood. It's Pace Talks. It's Arborator. Followed by St. Elmo Eagle. Random Arbest. Now they curve into the back stretch. Lake Hills, Texas draws clear again. Here comes Hopper Wellwood. Look at him fly. Fourth now third. Three wide second down the outside and with a rush. It's Hopper Wellwood up to challenge for the lead. Now they drive into the far turn. Hopper Wellwood on the outside. Lake Hills, Texas. It's Arborator in the third. On the inside, it's Dove Ruby. Here they come turning for home. Lake Hills, Texas cuts the corner. Hopper Wellwood is there. Here comes Arborator three wide. Lake Hills, Texas has the lead. Hopper Wellwood. Here comes Arborator. Another move. Lake Hills, Texas. Arborator. Those two at the wire. That is a photo. In the photo, number six, Lake Hills, Texas, was first. Number four, Arbreeder, was second. Number eight, Hopper Wellwood, finished third. Results are official. Time for the mile, 158. Four fouls. Returning to the winner's circle, number six, Lake Hills, Texas. Lake Hills, Texas is owned by Ken Spurlock of Sherrville, Indiana. Trained by Bob Black and driven to victory by Dale Heitman. The 6-4 Perfecta, $185.80, one eighty-five eighty. 
Ladies and gentlemen, in the winner's circle for a special presentation, Mr. William Moore of Maywood Park. Again, race fans, this is Trish Shout Shepherd, and I'm back in the winter circle with Dale Heitman, driver of Lake Hills, Texas, the winner of the $115,000 Maywood Pace. Dale, I see you went for the lead early. Were you, uh, was this a preset in your mind or something that just came? Well, I was just going to wait and see what happened when the gate opened and uh, looked over, and they really weren't leaving, and I thought I'd take the chance and go for the lead. Now, tonight, this was a pretty snug field without go socks. It actually seemed like it could be anybody's race. How did you feel going into the race? Uh, I just thought I had as good a chance as anybody if I could get a decent trip. And uh, fortunately tonight, I was able to get the lead, and he really responded. Were you concerned at all having um, uh, Tom out there uh, being first over? Did you think you would wear him down? Well, three weeks ago, he, he was parked and beat me, so I thought this time I would uh, try to just keep a length ahead of him, not let his horse get square with mine, and uh, fortunately my horse really raced well. Right here, Tony Morgan looks like his, he has his hands full. Yeah, I could see here in the film that, uh, that he does, but uh, uh, I got the best of it, I guess. All right, now here's where Hopper Wellwood comes making a three-wide move. Were you nervous at this point? I was really just trying to get away the three quarters as cheap as I could, and when he came th uh, three wide, knowing the horse as he has been all summer tough, I, uh, I give my horse the, the, the chance to go on and uh, open up if I could at all, and, and he just kept right on marching. You have one last little bit of worry. We have a big rush from Arbrader down the lane. Were you looking over your shoulder? Well, I was just going for, uh, for it all right there, and uh, my horse just kept, uh, like I said, just kept uh, charging hard and uh, got there. Well, it was close, but you prevailed. Congratulations, and thank you for being in the winner's circle. Thank you.